Can you able to see the screen, sir? Yes, ma'am, we can see. Good. Yeah, today uh, we, are, we are discussing about order of execution, uh, which is at its trivial basis. We are not, not able to hear you, madam. You are speaking. Yes. Uh, like a set of rules that is uh, when... okay. No, madam, we are not able to hear you. Hello? Yes, madam, now we can hear you. Uh, today, uh, we are going to discuss about order of execution. Um, uh, what is order of execution in Salesforce? A set of rules uh, that describe the path where the record takes through all the automations and the events that happen from save to commit. Uh, saving the record to the committing uh, to committing to the database. Um, and there are the steps in like uh, in the Salesforce, um, the, this order of executions uh, starts like from uh, like it whenever a new record is saved uh, or any original uh, like if you are performing any update or uh, upset operation, first the original record uh, is uh, loads from the database or it initializes for the upset. Older, uh, for this uh, update and the upset, older values are overwritten uh, and then uh, uh, for system validation rules like page layout specific rules and uh, field formats uh, maximum length like uh, these kind of validation system validation rules will be executed first. And then uh, coming to the apex before triggers will be executed. Uh, next, uh, custom validation rules, which are on, uh, written on that particular uh, object to store the, uh, to save the record. Uh, then uh, record is saved to database, but it is not yet committed to the database after the step. And then uh, apex after triggers will be executed. Um, after triggers uh, executed, then uh, the assignment rules, if any, and auto response rules, uh, like workflow rules, uh, will be executed. Uh, by executing this uh, workflow rules, if any field updates are uh, uh, done, uh, again the before trigger and the after trigger will be fired. After this, again uh, the escalation rules, which are any, that those will be executed. Uh, then uh, after these execution rules, uh, roll up summary uh, fields, any formulas uh, or updated or any other roll up, roll up summaries are to be done. Then this is executed. This step is executed. Then next uh, coming to the uh, criteria based sharing. If any sharing rules are uh, applied on that particular uh, uh, thing on the record um, uh, to be shared or any criteria based sharing, um, those sharing rules are applied and then it is committed to the database. After committing to the database, the post uh, commit logic, uh, like sending emails, uh, assigning any task like that, uh, those will be um, executed. Uh, here is the uh, flow diagram on the same things which I have explained before the steps uh, which are in detail um, this is like uh, just loading the record uh, or updating for any uh, insert or update if you are performing uh, on saving the record and uh, then checking for any like foreign keys uh, which executes the before triggers 
and then validation rules then any uh, like duplication rules you need key uh, will be performed uh, like uh, will be checked like there because there should be no any duplicate keys to be like ids to be uh, sent so then uh, executing the auto response rules no, sorry sorry no no ma'am duplication rules then saving the record but not committing to the database and then executing the uh, all the after triggers uh, then commit to the uh, execute assignment rules which uh, all the assignment rules and the auto response rules and workflow rules as i told like any workflow rules if any uh field updates happens uh, then again uh, it updates a uh, record but not committing to the database then again after triggers before triggers and like system validations all will be performed again and then execution process for the um, uh, row triggers or escalation rules and then uh, other like roll up summaries and uh, is uh, performing the calculation for the roll up summaries based on the parent and uh, parent record update process like uh, then then after all this roll up summary uh, things done then coming to uh, criteria based sharing will, you know, will be executed then it commits to the database then post logic commit Uh, will be executed like sending emails and uh, assigning tasks like that uh, then execution ends this is the order the sales force so answer sure ma'am so what is work in the back ma'am For example, when our record is updated, what will happen in that job execution? When the field is updated in the workflow rule, hmm. again, uh, so again uh, before triggers and after triggers, any other rules or that those those will be uh, executed. Sir. Yeah, yeah, fired again. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So generally, uh, update means again you are modifying record, right? That case, what will happen? You can uh, usually we have event right before update, after update events. Uh, if any then, events like then it it would be fired again. That will definitely be good. I get two times again, yeah. Two times, yes. Sure, madam. Thanks, madam. Uh, Thank you. So, anyone have any questions? Yeah. Okay, madam. Thanks. <laughs>